What's up, Navigators? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about how to easily optimize your titles, tags, and description using TubeBuddy's SEO Studio. So you can rank and search as a small YouTuber and get more views and more subscribers in 2020. Before we talk about how to optimize your next YouTube video, let's talk about what exactly SEO is. So one thing I've noticed is a lot of creators that are starting YouTube out in 2020 tend to treat YouTube just like any other social media platform, but it is so much bigger than that. YouTube is actually the second largest search engine in the world, right below Google, who actually owns YouTube. This means most people that come to YouTube are using it with intention to either find the answer to something or search a specific topic rather than just taking an occasional scroll like we do on Instagram. This is why as a small YouTuber, it is so important to make sure you are doing your keyword research to find exactly what people are searching for in your niche so you can create topics around that search term for accelerated growth on your channel. So I actually dived into keyword research, which I actually used to buddy for as well to help me outrank bigger YouTubers. So I'll go ahead and link that in the cards above. Now, for anyone that does not know, SEO is actually an acronym that stands for Search Engine Optimization. So in order to have a higher chance of your videos showing up in search results, you need to put in specific information into your videos, titles, tags, and description in order to communicate with YouTube's algorithm to let them know what topic your video is about, which is a very simple explanation to exactly what SEO is and how it will help out your channel as a small YouTuber. So it can get pretty confusing to figure out exactly what information to include into your titles, tags, and description, which is one of the reasons that I really love that TubeBuddy created their SEO studio. Their SEO studio helps take the guesswork out of optimization as it walks you through step-by-step step and exactly what to include in your titles, tags, and descriptions, which we will get into in just a second. Before we do, if you do not have TubeBuddy, which I did go over their keyword research tool in my last video, I do have an affiliate link in the description box below that you can use to download TubeBuddy for free. Okay, so this video is made assuming you have already downloaded TubeBuddy and you have their Chrome extension. So up at the top right-hand corner, you're gonna see a little TV in white. If you're in your Creator Studio, it's gonna be red. But you're gonna go ahead and click on that. Now, normally I do my keyword research and my SEO studio all in the same day. So what I would do is I would go to Keyword Explorer. I would find the keyword that I'm targeting. So for this video, it would be search engine optimization or else for beginners, there we go. So it's ready to come up. I don't wanna dig into this because I already went over this into my next video. So I'm not gonna play with this keyword term. We're just gonna go straight into um, SEO Studio. So once you have the keyword that you want, you're gonna go ahead in the bottom where it says action, scroll up a little bit to where it says optimize an SEO Studio and then click on that. So we're just gonna dig into our title. So one thing I really like is over off to the side here, you're gonna see your main keyword phrase, which is really good if you're someone like me that sometimes will stuff other words in between their keyword phrase and their title or just kind of changes their title um, altogether. It keeps track of what your actual keyword is. Also down here, it tells you how to improve your score. So my goal is to get all of these checked green and then it kind of lets you know too which ones it's not included. So the very first thing that's read is include your target keyword naturally into your title. So you want to make sure your titles are made for viewers, not for the algorithm. You can do something like best search engine optimization tutorial for beginners. Another thing is include partial matches of your target keyword into your description box. Okay, just to interrupt, before we continue with the SEO Studio tutorial, I did wanna go over some best practices when it comes to putting in information into your YouTube description box. So one of the biggest mistakes I often see new YouTubers make is they will put irrelevant information at the top of the YouTube box, which either has nothing to do about the video or is a link that takes the viewer away from YouTube, usually to another site or to another social media platform. So you wanna make sure the first two sentences describe exactly what your video is about and include keywords or keyword phrases that you are trying to target specifically. Another best practice to do is when you are doing keyword research, write down some relevant keyword phrases as well. Just make sure when you are adding these keywords or keyword phrases into your description box, you do it naturally. You don't wanna do things that are known as keyword stuffing. Okay, so hopefully I would have explained to you guys that I usually will keep track of other keywords that are relevant to this one or similar that are also searched. So to do that, you basically would go into the Keyword Explorer. You're gonna see the overall score off to the side, it says related. So I'm gonna see if any of these apply to me so I can do search engine optimization 
Craftsman Stitcher tutorial for beginners. Um, you can also look at the common video tags and see if you can add any of these naturally into your description box. And then I have a template that I normally use for all of my description box, which includes things like my social links um, to like my other channel and my Instagram. It also includes things that are like um, other videos that are related to this one. So if I really want my video how to outrank bigger YouTubers, to be promoted onto this video, I would add that link into this video because then YouTube knows like, oh, okay, so after people watch this video, they watch this video and then I get a better chance of it showing up in more search results and suggested on the viewer's watch page. I hope that makes sense. Let me know in the comments below if that just sounded like rambling or you totally understood what I was saying. Okay, so once I have my description box in here, you're gonna see that everything is checked off and you also see that the TubeBuddy score right here goes up. You want to make sure that the score is at 100. It doesn't mean specifically if you get a 100 score, you're going to rank first, but it does mean that you have done everything in your possible power to let YouTube know exactly what your video is about. And if people respond to your video well, you have a higher chance of showing up higher in the search results. Okay, so I know I've talked about this before, but just to reiterate, tags do not hold as much of an importance anymore like they did a few years ago, and this is coming straight from the employees of YouTube. But it is still a good practice to make sure you are providing SEO information into your tag box as well. So there are two main things that I like to do, and the first, just like in my description box, I like to add other relevant keyword phrases into my tag box. This way, it reiterates to the YouTube algorithm that my video also talks about this subject and I would also like to rank in these categories. The second thing I like to do is break up my main keyword phrase into smaller keyword or keyword terms. So once I'm done with this first page, I'm gonna go into tags and select next. Now, TubeBuddy does populate suggested tags for you. One thing you'll realize once you install TubeBuddy is these aren't all the tags that they'll give you. This is just like a pretty good, like what people search for um, when they search for this as well. So this is a good place to start, but I'm going to provide those best practices I just talked about. So the first thing I wanna do is take my first tag and break it up into smaller search terms to make sure that YouTube really knows if someone does like a short term of what this phrase is, I wanna show up in this as well. Okay, so another thing I would've talked about is making sure that you use that related section as well to put in relevant tags, which usually whatever is in this related section will also show up in the populated suggested tags too. But sometimes I will just copy and paste over just to make my life easier. And if you are using the copy paste, you're gonna wanna put a comma afterwards. This way it'll um, separate the tags for you. Okay, a little sneak peek into another tool that I use that I don't really talk about is Morning Things. So something I really like about them is I will use their tag suggestions because it makes my life so much easier. So they will populate tags for you into like a makeshift creator um, studio like box already. So all I need to do is copy to clipboard and then I can just plug that into my TubeBuddy SEO studio, place a comma and it separates everything for me. And then I just go through and make sure that I'm under that 500 character limit that YouTube gives me. So I will be making a morning fame SEO keyword research tool tutorial very soon. So if you are not subscribed and you wanna see that, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss all of that SEO fun. Okay, so once your tags are done, it's time to move over and go into the thumbnail section. So this is a good way to figure out what other thumbnails look like for the search term and how to stand out more. So again, I always create my thumbnails and my SEO before I even script or film my videos. This way I can stay on topic. I have been requested to do a thumbnail tutorial, so that is also on my list to do soon. If you have any suggestions on videos you would like to see me create, make sure to let me know in the comments below. All right, but once that thumbnail is done, it says apply to your video, but at this point, my video is not uploaded yet, so you can go ahead and just hit save to draft until you are ready to upload it to your video, and then you'll see here, there's all your drafts saved. So this is where when I do my SEO day, I'll have a ton of videos here, and I like this because it basically keeps a running log of which videos I need to create next. Also, it does keep your applied videos already. So these are everything that I have applied to my other videos. So if I wanted to make a follow-up video, I don't have to go back and redo all of that work. I can go ahead and just see which video I'm gonna do a follow-up on, and this way it has all of my SEO information in there, and then I just change the title to make it relevant to the new video. I usually reserve one full day to do all of my SEO for all of my videos that I'll be creating for the next two weeks. It really does help streamline, and having TubeBuddy's SEO Studio 
helps me save my draft. So this way, when I'm ready to upload that information and I have my videos uploaded, it's going to be easier to just copy and paste, which I will show you right now. So once you have uploaded your video, you're gonna go ahead and go to your creator studio. So this is just my dashboard. You're gonna go over to the side where it says videos, and then you're gonna find the video that you want to upload all that information to. So once you hover over the video, you're gonna see these little marks here. You're gonna press the little pencil mark there. It'll take you to the video information, which I have my default settings set to kind of a rough draft of what my um, description box already looks like. This way, if I'm ever on the go, I have that information there. But you're gonna just forget all of this because up in the upper right-hand corner, you're gonna see that red TubeBuddy box. Go ahead and click on that. You're gonna scroll down to where it says SEO Studio. You're gonna go to load from saved drafts. Then select the drafts that you want. So ours is search engine optimization tutorial for beginners. You can go ahead and select next through all of these, but I just go straight to apply to video. All right, so once you've selected that, it's gonna say save to draft, but we're gonna apply it straight to video. So you're gonna say yes, apply to my video, and then select apply to video. TubeBuddy is going to populate all of that information in there, and you're gonna see once it says, please close SEO Studio and click save to keep your changes. So you're gonna click that, and then this is the save button that they're talking about. So all of that information and work that we just did is already done on here. So you can see it looks totally different than it did in the beginning. It has my title here, it has all of my information in my description box, and it has my tags here as well. So something I like to do is I will just kind of relook at my tags. I scroll down a little bit because you're gonna see recommended tags, and TubeBuddy will give you more recommended tags than it did in the SEO Studio. So this is a really good thing just to like, check my work, I guess, um, and see if there's any more relevant tags than what I've already have in here, and then I can just add some if I wanted to, like how to do SEO. Seems like a really good one that someone would search. And once you're done, you can go ahead and just schedule out your video and then press save and you are good to go. All right, but that is some of the best practices I use when it comes to SEO for my videos and specifically how I use TubeBuddy's SEO Studio to streamline my work and make sure I optimize my video to its fullest potential. All right, and today's question of the day is if you could do one thing for the rest of your life, what would that be? Let me know in the comments below and you might have your chance at a shout out in my next video. But for more simple strategies to grow on YouTube, make sure to check out this video here. I'll also have it linked down in the comments below. Now get out there, make some content and let's grow together. Anyway, this is the second video today. I just forget to put a mic on. Like, nobody can hear what you're saying, Tiffany. Test, test, audio. Test is even on. Okay, Ooh, that part's on. Okay, we're really good to go.